forget what you know about current 3D technology. If developers showcasing their inventions at the SIGGRAPH have their way, the 3D experience will soon change significantly. And you won't be needing those silly looking glasses to look at 3D content. It's audio stereoscopic, which means 3D without special customized glasses. It's 360, which means rather than a flat screen, it's in the round. The reason that people are sticking their hands around some of the displays you can see, or others have game controls, is it's fully interactive. The people sticking their hands around it is a proximity sensor, so you can manipulate the objects in the display, spin them and manipulate them in other ways with the proximity of your hand. Or with the game controller, you can interact with the content in a full volumetric 3D environment. The annual SIGGRAPH conference attracts professionals from six continents in search of the latest cutting-edge technology. Some of that technology will be put to use by Disney in its highly anticipated film, Tron Legacy. The results we got in the theaters, they were amazing, but it was really people just getting to use the tools the way they should be for the very first time. The next generation of films that we're going to see, like Tron coming out in December, and the next films from Industrial Light and Magic, and the next thing that um, Weta is going to be working on, are all going to be able to be refined versions of these techniques. But SIGGRAPH isn't just about the latest in 3D. Another popular showcase is called haptic technology. Preston Smith explains. Imagine that in the future we're not actually going to be using our devices the way we do now, where we don't have the touch pads. Imagine that you actually have less space or you even don't even have a device in front of you. So you need to be able to type actually in the air. And for many attendees at SIGGRAPH, the air is also full of inspiration. Uh, initially, I, I came to share uh, my, my ideas. Uh, and uh, now I came to see pretty much what's the state of the art in, different, in all the different fields and see how it can reflect in my work uh, and every day and how I can just push what I do you know, outside, the, outside the box. Mark Hamrick, The Associated Press.